Check out this card today, ladies. A quick and easy 10 minute creation. And we'll do the inside in the envelope. Join me in the craft room and I'll show you how. Let's get started. I have a scrap of Whisper White. I have a piece of Rose Red that's four by five and a fourth. I have a piece of Whisper White that measures, it's my card base, it's five and a half by eight and a half and it's scored at four and a fourth. I have my envelope and I'm going to be using You've Got This. I'm going to use this image and this image. I have a garden green marker and a rose red marker. I've got some gold um, 1 8 inch thread, uh, ribbon and crumb cake ink. So the first thing I want to do, and I need to get a scrap paper, is I want to ink this up. And this is a background stamp. It's meant to add um, interest to your card, but I don't want it as thick as it is, or it, I shouldn't say thick, but I don't want it as dark as that. So I'm going to off stamp it, and then I'm only using part of it, and hopefully this will work. Hmm, I may try it full strength. Let's see. I know this is 10 minutes or less, but sometimes you have to play to see. Let's see what it looks like if I use full strength. I didn't know, so. All right, and I'm gonna take and take this, my card to the stamp, fold this over and press down. Let's see how dark it is. If it doesn't work, I'll go back to the other side. See, you can hardly even see that. That's better. I'll use that side. Okay, get this out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up my stamp using my markers so I'm coloring on it. And I will be doing some fussy cutting. I know I have a few ladies who don't like that, but sometimes you gotta fussy cut. So let me get this all over. I may add some, no, I got the gold ribbon. I was gonna say I may add some Wink of Stella to give it some bling, but I have the gold ribbon for the bling. Okay, now. <gasps> Huff on your stamp after you do that so that it takes and um, remoistens the ink. And wait a few minutes for it to transfer. Voila! Perfect! And now I'm going to fussy cut. And this is not a hard one to fussy cut. You may think it is, but it isn't. Um, I just kind of leave an edge and go all the way around. The trickiest part is right around um, the stem. So just don't cut um, down in the corners. Don't cut as close down there. And then that way you don't have to worry about it being really not a lot of support there. And my goal on this is to add this to the background piece. And see, I'm not, I'm gonna go down, let's see how far I get. I'm gonna go down there a little bit, and cut a little bit out. I'm gonna add this to the card base using dimensionals. This is where it gets tricky. You have to be careful not to, I'm gonna cut this off so it's not as heavy at the top. There we go. Much better. And be careful, don't cut your card where you're not supposed to. But you just kind of follow the shape. And cut it out. 
Oops. Remember, turn your paper, not your scissors. Okay, I got the leaves cut out, good. Now I'm gonna work on the top. And again, this is not that hard as you can see. It'll take you just a couple of minutes to cut it out. Um, if you know you're gonna be doing some creating and you're gonna be doing fussy cutting, what you can take and do is stamp your images and then at night while you're watching TV, sit and cut them out. That works. Or stamp them, cut them out, and stick them back in the case, and then you've got them when you're ready for them. I know a lot of people who do that. And then you're not stressed about having to fussy cut. Okay, almost done, ladies, with the fussy cutting. And then we'll add some dimensionals to the back. There it is, look at that. All right, let me get this paper out of the way. Oh, dropped it on the floor, not good. My dog will eat it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add dimensionals to the back of this so I have it ready to go. If I can get them off. I'm going to add one there and one there and then I'm just going to add the top and some of these the backs are coming off and then some of them won't come unstuck all right there's another one there and then what I'm going to take and do also um, I'm adding more dimensionals than I normally do because I want to make sure that this doesn't um, collapse on me. When I cut down my dimensionals, I, I, I go all the way down to this strip. Well, this strip is really perfect for inside or for the, the stem of this. So I'm going to cut a piece a little bit shorter and I'm going to apply it to my stem, making sure I stay and curving it if I need to, which I do. So I stay inside the lines. There we go. All right, let's put this card together. So I'm gonna take my card base and I'm going to Fold it on the score line. Use my bone folder for a crisp fold. All right. This is going to go on the back of here. And I have two things of. Oh, this one is the one that's almost empty. This one's got quite a bit in it. I have some that are almost empty and that I keep in my container upside down. Then when I need it, I've got it to use. Okay, remember if you're using the glue, be careful not to press too hard or you'll slide your um, background. I know you've seen that happen to me on some of my videos. Now I gotta take all these backings off. Okay. I got my backings all off and I'm gonna put my flower down. And there it is. Now add my ribbon and I'm done. And I'm just gonna add a little tiny bow so that it looks like it's a little nosegay. This would be a great card for Mother's Day, um, birthday. I don't tend to put sentiments on my cards when I make them because then I can use them for whatever occasion I need. So I leave them, oops, wrong ones. Those are the real big ones. Okay. See, look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Simple card, quick and easy. And I did the inside and the envelope. I hope I've inspired you today. If you liked my video, give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. 
so that the word gets out how much fun we have. Have a great day.